Greetings, Serena the Bane here, and um, I'm going to show you this amazing room, which is a secret awesome room. And what's really cool about it is that it has a sound booth. Check it out. And it also has a bunch of junk and chairs, but it has a sound booth. And it's really cool and really strange. So join me as we make this happen. So yeah, this is the sound booth, and it's really cool because it has this chair. And it has this padding of foam, which is really sweet. It blocks out outside noises and keeps your noise from echoing in here. So my process in this would just be basically Get the audio recording program set up and get to work in this her hizzy. Let's do it! Hey guys! Guys! Hey guys, did you read the news today? It's crazy! Dude, I'm just a big ass baboon, not a Sasquatch. I'm definitely no. Whoa! You're right! Hello Kitty shaped, phallic shaped, big. What? What? Word to your mother, if you're going to do voice acting, do a little vocal warm-up. It makes you seem ridiculous, but it's kind of useful. Oh my. Oh my. La 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 la. Ah. La. Oh my. Nuh-uh. They do too exist. Please. That's just crazy, people. Guys, I just saved a ton of money on my car insurance by switching the guys. Yes! I should just use that for the text for Lou's voice. Oh, I see. Thousands of Lou's like that. Really so, uh, it's too slow. I see. And that's a wrap. <laughs> that wasn't, that was the microphone. Ser seriously, though. The interesting things I noticed about, um, using the sound booth is that lack of echo, obviously. That was kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's weird because you don't realize how important or how normal an echo is. You don't think you hear an echo normally when living, but uh, then you're, it's taken away and it's like, whoa, what's going on? I don't like this. I, I can learn to be okay with it though. And that happens, but it's pretty sweet. I think that's difficult about it is getting those um, deeper registers for my voice because my voice is like this, but then I'm trying to go like this, maybe even deeper, maybe, you know, like, it gets ridiculous. And then I think the most difficult character's voice was the Wani Kani's because his voice is kind of raspy in the animation, so he's like, <laughs> like he's... That's verbatim, by the way. Actually, that's 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 a text Fugu quote. But uh, uh, Connie's voice—he sounds like this dude. Maybe a little, maybe a little deeper, but you you get the idea. Like, I ended up taking, trying to do the recording several times, and every time I did it, I always had to do his voice la last because it would blow my voice out. It kind of sucked, but it's you got to do it, you know. It's no big. I mean, I, I can get a new voice. <laughs> so, concerning the characters and about their voices, why I chose those particular voices, there's a... Somehow, sitting in a dark room, my shoe goes missing. It just flies off me. Um, so concerning the, um, the voices that I chose for the characters, um, that was kind of a... I don't know when I decided to do what to do. Um, obviously, Kumaman or Kumaman or Atoato, whatever you want to call him, um, his voice just—he just looks like he's dripping of George Decay esque voice. Like he just needs to have that in his life, and I don't know. It just—it just seems appropriate based on his designs. Seductive, smooth jazz, deep. I don't know. Just. 
His voice is appropriate, and I think if anybody saw his character or his um a, a picture of the mascot, they would just think that's that's accurate. So Tofugu is a uh, when I think of him out of all the characters in the in the bunch of all the mascots, I look at him and I think this is the cutest this is the cutest sweetest design of all of them. We have the uh, Tofugu in comparison, who's really kind of pointy and sharp and kind of creeps me out and is gross and then you have the Wani Kani who's like this big monstrous chimera monster thing and creepy kuma man and stuff but um the tofugu in comparison is more of a wholesome mascot he's just a fish and food two completely unthreatening things and so I got I got this like naive wholesome butt of the joke kind of foil at the same time, you think, oh, God, what a biggity bitch. But then you also think, oh, they're so sweet and naive. Oh, let's like them. So, <laughs> that would be the, the Tohuga in this instance. Oh, Wani Kani, what's that? Oh. He's kind of a sassy butthole, but the reason his voice is all raspy like that is because of um one of the API apps on the um, for Wani Kani. It was the review notifier, and it, and one of the little notification sound effects was what I imagine is the Wani Kani going, REVIEW TIME! With a cute little tune, and I love it. Actually, I can probably play it for you now. Let's see. Maybe. I can't... It's not because I don't have reviews. I'm just gonna warn you, I'm... I'm pretty stocked. The text Fugu! The text Fugu! Ah! When I see, um, the text Fugu... The little mascot here, this is a sticker I got from Tofugu because, um, because I did a little drawing and they're like, hey, we're going to give you these. And I thought, hey, this is awesome. I'm going to send them a doll that they can dissect because that'll make them co totally comfortable. Um, so yeah, um, so this guy, whenever I see that mascot, I, for some reason in my, my brain dyslexically upside downs the face so that he looks like this creepy sad face fish so whenever I draw him I always draw him like really upset like Aah! I just but at the same time with a face like that I just imagine this beastly barely sentient creature this, this he's a beast that's basically he's just a beast a big dumb beast for the non mascot characters we have um Hihi which is based on Japanese yokai um, a giant baboon creature, which, according to the Hugo article, it used to be confused, or was confusable or comparable to, at some point to um, the Hippogon. And uh, his voice was really difficult for me to figure out because I kind of wanted something chill, something like, yeah, bro, but I didn't want it to sound too much like all the other characters, so I just sort of winged it, really. Like, his character, I just winged it. And I can see him smoking a lot of weed and surfing at the same time. For Alan, the alien, because I'm creative with names, uh, his voice is obviously a really generic alien voice. Like, you gotta have, like, the weird, distorted, oh, text worker, like, that high-pitched, annoying voice of somebody, if a real person talked to you with it, you'd probably want to punch him in the throat or the face or something. Somewhere, some way to make them stop doing the voice. But he's kind of monotone. In a way, I always imagine him like the alien voiced version of uh, an old Earth space science teacher I had in high school, who just... God. Sorry, I, I just bored myself thinking about him. One important factor in um, the voice acting thing is to consider how the characters would say something. The, um, the Tofugu, for example, he would say something in a completely different way that the Wani Kani would say something. And I think that's sort of, that sort of point comes across in the animation in a couple points where Kumaman, Wani Kani, and Tofugu both have, or all three have reactions at the same time, but they're completely different, and they even, they even have the reaction at a slightly different pace. Like, it'll mentally come to them at a different point, and 
they'll react in a different point. Wani Kani would probably be more angry or more indignant, I suppose. He'd be surprised and angry at the same time because he's just an aggressive... He's a crocodile! He's gotta be aggressive to some degree. Kuma Man would have um, a slower reaction because he sort of paces himself. He's more... He's not necessarily slower mentally, but he sort of waits to react a little more. And his reaction because of it, because he has time to contemplate and process it longer, um, it, it comes out a little more dampened. His reaction's not gonna be like, what? You know, I mean, it could be. But Tofugu, in comparison to them, would be, he's like the naive little butthead that he is, so he, he'd just be like completely taken off guard and be like, oh my god! What, what, what do I do? Because he's so naive and like he has the best of things in mind. Doesn't he's unassuming and all that junk. Um, the text Fugu, he's a beast. He doesn't really care. He's not gonna be surprised. He's just gonna be like, feed me, you know that kind of thing. But... So yeah, that's that's it. It's not really much to do. It's just really. Record the audio, have a good time, don't blow out your voice, think about what the characters would do, how they would say it, all that junk, and yeah.